Wow. wow. Didn't even know he owned it. Wow. And four properties there. Was he paying taxes? Uh, he wasn't, and that's how I found out that he found out he didn't own it because it was on the courthouse steps, and I saved him from losing. Awesome. Oh, wow, nice. Awesome. So he gave me the list. Uh, as well, he story. as yeah. well he should. That's awesome. Well, yeah, we'll share that around in our new um, our new friend uh, that um, just started. She may have some, you know, some people who might want that. So yeah, one point nine eight zero ninety three thousand dollars an acre in Greenbrier. Zoned already in Stephen Land. Wow, that's awesome. All right, good. Anybody else want to share with us something good? No. All right. Well, we're gonna get. We're gonna start. So let's get this kicked off, Felicia. How are we doing? How are you doing today, Felicia? I'm fantastic. Good. I'm confused up here, but I'm fantastic. <laughs> Your daughter's coming to town. Yes, that's exciting. Sunday. That's exciting. That's definitely something. I don't good. know if I'm more excited about my daughter coming to town or my grandson coming with her. I know which one you're more excited about. Wonderful. <laughs> Awesome. Way to go. Okay, so let's say hello to Jean Antoine. Come on down, Jean. Good morning. With Super. Tell us about Super, Jean. Uh, well, I might be there at 2 o'clock because I'm excited about the World Cup. I don't know who else is. I know soccer's not as big in America, but uh, I've been watching on my phone at like 8 a.m. My wife hates it. But, uh, so my name's Jean. I'm with Super. We're a home warranty, home services partner. We do things very different than traditional home warranties. I know over the past year and a half or so, there haven't been a ton of home warranties just because it's been such an aggressive seller's market. So now's a good time to reset and start with a new partner. Um, so we do things very differently. So I want to tell you about what we do differently, but then also how you can engage with us. I don't want to get too much into the nuts and bolts. If you are a nuts and bolts person, get with me afterwards. I'll be happy to kind of talk to you about some of those things and how we do it differently uh, systematically. But we use technology to kind of make the client experience much better and to limit or eliminate out-of-pocket costs. So to give you an example, my wife called me, it was like three weeks ago, called me, told me that our AC was out, wasn't working. So I went on the app, this is 12.30 when she called, went on the app, submitted the claim. Less than an hour later, it was confirmed for the very next day. This was on a Thursday. It was confirmed with the servicer the next day. They came out, fixed the capacitor from less than 24 hours from the time I had the claim to completion, it was done. That's unheard of in the home warranty industry. Typically, you're gonna have three or five days before a servicer's out to the house. We actually got it done in a day. It's not always the case, but it was the case this time. And of course, no out-of-pocket costs. So that's really what we wanna do differently for your clients is to provide a much better experience than what they're used to from traditional home warranty companies. That's just one example. Again, I can get into a lot of nuts and bolts if you guys are nuts and bolts type people. Um, now the why or the how rather that you can get engaged with us as we're starting to get back to normal. I know there's probably a lot of people in the room that were around before the craziness of COVID when you couldn't ask for any concessions, when you're paying over asking price for your buyers. Well, now that we're getting back to normal, you can obviously ask for a warranty again on the contract. If you're concerned about that, or if you don't get to that point yet, a lot of agents I work with are actually asking for the warranty on the inspection or doing the due diligence period. So you can ask for it at that point. And one way that you can utilize us as a resource for you is through our In the Clear program. So this is an industry first program. We're the only company offering this. We're very big on transparency. Um, you can even find our terms and conditions online, which is not the same for every company out there. Uh, if you go to, I think page six here in the brochure, you'll see a little blurb here, this full page information on, on in the clear. What this is, is it shows you all of the items that will not be denied due to pre-existing conditions in writing. I don't think anybody heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Because this is a major pain point for home warranty companies. You never know once your client or you or your client doesn't know if something's actually going to be covered from the time they close the home until they actually submit the claim and then they find out something might be pre-existing. We're doing that beforehand and we're doing it in writing. So this is why I say you can utilize this during the due diligence. If you get that inspection report, you can send it into us. We'll send you a report back the next day, letting you know all of the items that will not be denied due to pre-existing conditions. If there are some items that are of issue, it'll highlight those. It makes the negotiations actually easier if you're on the buy side because now it'll show what those things are. And you can get those things repaired or obviously get concessions or whatever the situation is on the deal. So that's a big plus for you, especially as we're kind of transitioning to a normal, more normalized market to utilize that to help your buyer kind of get the best situation and get the best coverage for their home. 
What are the questions on that? Because there always are, because it's a very unique program to super. Who has a question? This is a quiet group. I guess you guys are excited about the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're still in the Thanksgiving. Turkey coma. We're still trying to process that. All right, understandable. So if you do have questions, let me know. I did provide the card there as well. Um, I do want to give you guys a giveaway. So I put my card there. Just text me uh, really quickly and take out your phones right now. Send me a text with your name and email uh, to my phone number on the card. And you're not going to get into a text campaign. You're not going to get a bunch of text messages. It's just directly to me for the uh, for the uh, giveaway. So I want to give you guys a $25 Amazon gift card. It'll help with some of the Christmas shopping, hopefully. Awesome. So just send that, and then at the end of the meeting, we'll call the winner. So take your time, do that, and then we'll call it again. Okay, okay so yeah. All right. Let's wait, and we'll, we'll do the drawing at the end. Any other, any other questions? Thank you for breakfast. Yeah, my Thank pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. All right. Thank you, Jane. Oops. Let's right. see. Wrong way. Shelter Home Mortgage. How come you're not on here? Oh, Veronica. All right, we're in. Come down. You guys you are, missed, you're the next contestant. I am the next contestant. You guys missed a wonderful family feud. So next time we have family feud going on, you're all invited. We had wild turkey and family feud, and I'm sorry that some of you were missed it, but next time we will do it again. It was fun. And just was waiting for you to join in, Veronica. I don't see you at team meeting. Realtors got one, not the same. <laughs> they knew their stuff, even yeah. though they didn't win the fast money. Um, okay, so today I wanted to talk to you about a down payment assistance program that we have. I know a lot of you have been asking about down payment assistance and what we have. So we have, um, we are now working with Atlanta Housing Home Ownership. And so with this program, borrowers can get $20,000 to $25,000 um, of down payment assistance. It is a subsidized loan. It is given after 10 years, so that is really good. Um, they only need to bring $1,500 of their own money into the game, so that's great. They can have co-borrowers as long as those co-borrowers can stay um, in that house. And um, last but not least, their income level, because it is income level, needs to be under $76,000, and their maximum purchase price is three thirty five. dollars so we have a little flyer. If you are interested or know anyone who um, that may help, please forward their information to us. We would love to be able to assist them. Um, we are attracting qualified borrowers. So if you have any qualified borrowers, please send them our way. We'd love to help qualified and motiva motivated buyers. And then um, we also um, wanted to just talk about our signs that we have. We have shelter yard signs. Yeah, so if you um, have a listing, please come see us and let us um, give you a sign so that you can put it um, in front of your listing. And of course, um, promote us and <laughs> help uh, for, so we can help your clients um, get pre-approved even faster. Yeah, we'd love to pre-approve them and get your houses sold, so let's and, do that. And there's an extra reason to have the um, sign in the yard, right, Felicia? It's always an extra reason. <laughs> You'll be my best friend. <laughs> we all want to be Felicia's best friend, I will tell you. <laughs> we did have a, um, we'll um, start doing um, pulling names at the end of the month, each month, for um, a gift card. Um, was it 50 or $100 gift card? Yes, it's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Our options 50. all over the place. Let's How do you know? I'm going to say 50, so that way if it's 100, it's a bonus. There you go. There you go. Yes. So um, see Elise or Patricia for that. Um, you can also come see me. Um, and the only thing we need from y'all is a photo. A photo a of the sign photo. next to your for sale sign. At the property, not your house. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay. What else, y'all? Um, just to let you guys know, I know rates are always a question, um, and I am seeing that rates are actually improving right now. So I just want to let you know it's not a bad time. Things are leveling out. Uh, rates in my neck of the woods are going down, so I'm happy to um, 
have that out there and let all of your borrowers know. It's and not scary. As always, if you're uncomfortable having the right conversation, let us do it for you. That's our job. Always. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Renee and Paul, welcome. Come on down. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Renee Dillon. I'm one of the owners of Danic PC and I manage our Ashford office. This is Paul Yaku. He manages our Alfred office and is also at Ashford with me. Um, so today, now that we're getting near the end of the year, December is always a crazy month. It always seems to get a little bit busier. We've seen title orders pick up over the last week or so, thanks to those rates taking down a little bit, I think. Um, but December is always a busy year. So I'm going to kind of give you a grab bag of uh, end of the year tips. Uh, first is you know, keep in mind scheduling. This year, the New Year's Eve and Christmas, they're both on the weekends. So we have Friday, December 23rd. We're hoping to close our office at noon that day. Um, so if you're scheduling near there, try to schedule early. Same thing with end of the month. It's going to be a Friday. It's going to be the last business day of the year and the month. So yay. <laughs> Uh, yay! Yeah. It'll be fun. Danger, um, danger, danger, danger. danger. <laughs> um, so just you know, keep that in mind. You know, when you're put, when you're scheduling and when you're writing your contracts for December, you know, just keep those dates in mind. And just keep in mind too, you know, lenders, attorneys. You know, we're out not out of the office a lot, but you know, obviously December is a huge month of events. So you know, just just be patient. Closing in December with your lenders and your attorneys. Um, they were talking about down payment assistance. It's a fabulous program. We see, we tend to see a lot of that. We have a lot of first-time home buyers, I feel like, that purchase at the end of the year and beginning of the year. Um, down payment assistance is a wonderful program. Please keep in mind, um, it's it's a great program. Um, it does have to go through some kind of government type entities. So again, like have patience if your buyers are working with the down payment assistance. That's usually sort of the last element of the closing package that we tend to get. And again, like end of the year, you know, everything kind of slows down and is a little bit um, off schedule. Also, one thing that I was thinking about last week, another big thing at the end of the year and around holidays in particular, the fraud ticks up immensely. So just be really cautious with your buyers. Um, you know, just remind them you will never get wire instructions over email. Do not follow wire instructions that you're getting over email. Um, watch out for odd emails. The spam those. Fraudsters, they keep getting better and better all the time. You know, they're going after earnest money now. They're going after proceeds. They're going after additional earnest money. So just talk to your buyers, have a conversation. Um, I always say, you know, buying a house is a really stressful time. People are crazy. And even the smartest, most with it people, um, you know, miss things, are not paying close attention. Holidays are even worse for that. Um, stress levels are cranked up for everyone. So just talk to your buyers about that and, you know, have patience and grace during the holiday season for everyone you're closing with. That's it. Any questions? No? There are a lot of closing. Well, I agree today. Say. Yes, we are having a mock closing at our office next Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Tuesday. 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 Don't look at me. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, okay. so, hmm. It's Tuesday. The 6th is Tuesday. So at our office mock closing, if you are new, if you haven't had a closing yet, or if you have one coming up, or if you've only had a couple and you were sitting in the closing room going, what the heck am I supposed to be doing during this time with my clients, come to our office. Um, we go through, really, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a class a lot on how to interpret the settlement statement to you. So, you know, we just talk a little bit about what to do prior to closing, what to expect on closing day, and how the flow of the closing goes. I also go over the settlement statement in great detail. So if that thing is a mystery to you, come on in and we will get it all explained out for you. So 11.30 next Tuesday. I hope to see some of y'all there. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thanks, y'all. I'll appreciate the it. correct information for you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so before we go to the next one, um, just want to throw in a, a little snippet here from one of our newest uh, productivity coaches, Michelle yeah. Slater. Yeah. What do you have to yeah, share, I just share to with us guys, today, Michelle? Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm Michelle Slater, I'm one of your newest productivity coaches here along with Bill Schulte and Renee. Um, you guys need to know this office cares so much about your success. And this office truly believes that even more people can succeed. Hi, Zoomland. 
out there. How many people are in Zoom land? Uh, that's a good question. Let me think about that. Um, and that's why they've given you now three options for productivity coaching. You can talk to Clark or Evan to kind of get our phone numbers and see who might be the right fit for you. Or Terry. Or Terry, yes. Yeah. Yep. And my promise to you guys is anytime I stand before you, I'm always going to try to give you something of value that you can walk away with and use throughout the week. In my program, I teach uh, neuro linguistic programming, which is NLP, and it's the arrangement of words that help your clients talk. It helps to get them thinking and get them talking. And the, the best, easiest rule of thumb with NLP is to always start with you, you, and then use I. And if you'll notice, I used it on when I did this presentation just now. You guys all deserve success. You guys can all achieve. And I believe with coaching, you can have that. So get in touch with your office about how to get into productivity coaching, okay? Thank you so much. You're welcome. And another um, twist on that of the, in, in, um, the NLP is language of sales, right? Right. Because yes. that's what that's based on. It is. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Michelle. Yep. All right. So ready? Think we're ready. Yeah, we're ready. Um, Steve Parker, come on down and talk to us. Share with us about uh, Happy House. Perfect. Thank you all. Today, I'm going to ask for a little interaction. All right. Get the, crowd, get the crowd. I know it's warm in here. Everybody's on. Like, goes on. <laughs> Who's read uh, Gary's One Thing? Awesome. Give me some examples. What's your one thing? Um, my one thing, yeah. she's my, my daughter, or actually she's my big wife, but my one thing, I guess is uh, like I'm the number one agent in the office. There you go, family, I heard family in there. Who else? My one thing is to strengthen community. I love that. Give me one more, back here. I saw some hands come up. Yeah? Okay, we'll stop with you. I'll, I'll do one. I'll do one. My one thing is to fund my wife's dream job, which is to stay at home and raise our boys. There you go. Bill, did you want to go? I was just going to say, I've got a, a daily list of to-dos, and the one thing at the top of my daily list is lead generation. Okay. I think that the overwhelming uh, uh, message here, which is encouraging to see, is all of this is others-focused, right? That's what the Happy House model is designed to be. And talking with Bob Kalinsky, Mike Ray, and that fine young man, y'all's team leader, co-team leader right there. This Happy House model is the Keller Williams community engagement model with the nonprofit community, right? Keller Williams is taking a look at what are we doing as far as what does our social corporate responsibility look like? I know we've heard that a lot in the news. What are we doing to give back? The biggest buzzword in the nonprofit community they are looking for modern fundraising solutions, right? COVID killed event-based fundraising. They're really looking for new opportunities in which they can engage with their donors and the community as a whole. Guess what every donor community for a nonprofit is doing? They are buying and selling houses. And this is an amazing untapped resource for our nonprofit partners. I know many of y'all are gonna have Nonprofits that y'all are passionate about. Church, youth organizations, autism. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. The Happy House platform is designed that you are able to go into your favorite nonprofit partners and make new nonprofit partners, and we come alongside of them and build fundraising campaigns, and we monetize the real estate transactions within that donor community. Yeah, no, so you have you have you have a nonprofit, let's say Habitat. They have a donor audience of a hundred thousand people that love Habitat for Humanity. That donor audience is buying and selling houses. And the nonprofit partner, Habitat, they need new fundraising avenues. We come alongside of them, build a campaign with them, help them dream. Tell us what you're doing on 23, what are you looking to accomplish? And we build a campaign around that with Keller Williams agents, and we monetize the real estate transactions within their donor community. We provide them all the marketing, all the messaging, all the social media, all the storytelling that they're going to need, as well as a very expensive mobile app platform that's about to come online so that we can get into their community and then provide you with leads. These are beautiful people. Somebody who's philanthropic, a giver, yeah. is more than likely. Yeah, I, I don't understand how they, they make the money. They're buying the house, but who's buying the house? No, he's, he's, he's saying there's a database there. 
He's talking about tapping. It's, this is this is an untapped database. That's exactly what it is, right? So we partner with nonprofits. You have just fished for a whale, right? You have just landed a nonprofit partner. That nonprofit partner has a donor database of a thousand or a hundred thousand people that love what they do. You partner with them through the Happy House model, and we monetize the real estate transactions among that hundred thousand donors. Right, because that donor audience is buying and selling houses anyway. The nonprofit partner is looking for, they're always trying to answer the question, what could they do with more resources? What could we do with more funds? What could we do with more volunteer power? What could we do with more exposure? We want more nonprofit partners standing up here in front of this room talking with y'all. Maybe that's something that can get your heart. You know, you'd love to love on them. Here's a few of our examples that we're working with right now. And the list just keeps growing and growing and growing. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. What happens is 25% of our commission is given back to the nonprofit partner to help them in their dream. 25% our, our firm. Our firm. Right. So let's say let's say you you uh, you land Habitat for Humanity, right? And and you live here in Atlanta, and, and she lives in Colorado. One of their donors is selling their, their, their ski house. We're going to refer it to them so that that, that transaction makes sure that it gets happen. Mm -hmm. Follow me? Mm -hmm. So the whole happy house model and everything that's going on with it is, it, it, it's, it's going to be an accreditation of sorts too. Again, with uh, Bob Kalinske and Mike and you know some conversations with Clark too, of course, we're launching that within the Rawls group. And uh, uh, February 23 is really going to be our, our, our true launch coming out of this. This has been something that's been beta. So we COVID. sign up to be a happy house. I just want to try to make sure I understand. We sign up for the happy to be a happy house realtor. Mm. You give us a lead that we would not have had. Mm. Exactly. And yes. we give twenty five percent of our commission. Your that is one avenue. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Or another opportunity is we would love for every single one of y'all to have your, what has your heart, your nonprofit partner, you come to us and we'll launch a campaign with you and your favorite nonprofit partner so that we can get that nonprofit partner accomplishing their goals in 23, right? We want you fishing for whales, getting more of those databases within that nonprofit community. You know, whether that's one or 10 or 50 nonprofit partners. Do you charge the nonprofit to put that campaign Absolutely together? Absolutely not, no, no. How do you how yeah. do you get around the legalities of that? That when because I know I'm part of a nonprofit and we we have a database yeah. that we protect because they've given us that information to you know to donate to us and not be solicited yeah. solicited. So we spend a lot of money that? in legal fees, okay. and consulting, and CPAs and everything like that. Because this is a new model. If if anything that it mimics a little bit, who's familiar with Amazon Smiles, mm -hmm. right? Amazon figured out that they could monetize a retail transaction within the donor community. Hey, look, nonprofit community, have your donors shop with us here at Amazon, and every time they do, we'll give a portion of our retail sale to your favorite nonprofit partner. Well, Keller Williams and the size and the scope, you know, they were able to do. It, that's where we kind of started. Um, we do not get access to their uh, donor database. We do not get access. Uh, administrative access to the social media platform and everything like that. We provide everything that a professional marketing a agency would provide to a nonprofit partner without that access to their to the to their database uh, or their administrative access to their social media platforms. But we've got systems in place so that we're able to. If y'all want to walk in, and if you if your next door neighbor, or your best friend was an executive director or founder of a nonprofit, we know all the right things to share and provide for them so that their team is equipped and running a happy house campaign with Bill Schulte for his favorite nonprofit. It's also, I, well, my perspective, it's an added value um, that you offer to sellers and buyers yes, to right. say, why should you work with me? Well, here's one reason, because 25% of my fee is going to go to the nonprofit organization of your choice. Exactly. Is that, is that correct? That's how this all got started. I just started asking my clients, what has your heart? Tell me what your passion is about. Well, my brother has autism. My mom had breast cancer. Da, 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 da. Yeah, great. And then you <coughs> find out more. You know, yes, I'm all in. I love your mission. Please let be a part of that. You know, you get to do real one thing, meaningful, purpose driven. What, what's 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 the Keller Williams mission? Um, have lives worth living. Businesses worth owning. Businesses worth owning. Lives worth living. That's what this is.
Like the seems worth leaving. There you go. There you um, go. And Steve, just so y'all know, Steve is an active y'all. Some of y'all know know him from co-oping with him, but he's how long have you been in real estate? More than 20 years. Yeah. yeah, so you've got your own. He's out there in the trenches with y'all uh, converting uh, uh, his buyers and sellers. Questions for Steve? Would you share um, real quick um, a little bit about um, Dave Pridemore and Camp Grace and uh, how that? Well, I'll, I'll share with y'all. We have an initiative this year for our market center that we haven't rolled out yet. It's a Rawls Group initiative where we're um, going to be raising money to build a Rawls Group cabin at Camp Grace, which is a summer um, camp for underprivileged inner city kids. Youth. And um, and so that's a that's a partnership <laughs> where, we, where we might be able to. That's exactly right. Gene said that you know this is kind of going to be the conduit platform to make that happen. Camp Grace is a nonprofit partner with the Alpha participation. Yeah. So what's the if somebody's interested in this, what's their next step? Contact me. You know, tell me who, who's your favorite nonprofit who we can have a conversation with, right? That and then we're gonna set we're gonna do a um set aside a date for training. I think, I think that's month. the 20th. So uh after the team meeting on the 20th, we'll get more into a deep dive. Okay, awesome. Who has a Did question? you have a question back there? Comments. Do you have a question? No? Me? Yeah, that's no, I have. Question. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Got it. Yeah, how do we contact you? Where's your contact info? Uh, your contact? The website is a happy dot house. Okay. I didn't bring any cards or anything like that, yeah. but a couple of these guys got contact information is up there at the top. There you go. Right there. It's very tiny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, you can go to a happy dot house and it will be at the very top of the page. Our goal, our goal is to give away a billion dollars and to impact 100 million lives. Right there. The only way we're going to do that is through people like you and a team like this and Keller Williams culture. Yep. And y'all can see me too because I've got a lot to do my phone. Thanks. Thank y'all so okay. much. Steve, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Ah, all right. Um, who's unaware the angel tree is out in the lobby? Uh, yeah, it right is. Out here, right? It's got items that we can you grab off the angel tree, pick up for donations for the Elizabeth Foundation. Of course, the Elizabeth Foundation helps the homeless here in Atlanta. In addition to those uh, new items, we're asking people to purchase things like tents, tarps, socks, rat traps, uh, sleeping bags. Uh, you can also bring in uh, gently used jackets and blankets uh, because there was, of course, the uh, large uh, fire, the underpass fire recently that affected a large community of homeless here in Atlanta. So please bring those in by the 13th um, for us uh, to donate to the Elizabeth Foundation. And thank you, everybody, for donating already. I appreciate it. The tree is getting full underneath. Yeah, and we need to, by the December the 13th. December the 13th, yeah. I guess, let's say, by team meeting. Yeah, December. well, that, it'll be the White Elephant Party. So by the White Elephant Party. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Tony. So y'all, it's cold, and, they're, and they need blankets and jackets. So that's a great place to do that. And here's a little bit more information about that. Any, any questions, call Tony or see me. Okay, cool. All right, command contacts initiative. So we are we want uh, every agent and our every um, uh, business owner, co business owner, y'all, um, to have at least two hundred and one contacts in command. Why? Because once you have two hundred and one, the probability, the likelihood that you're going to make a six figure income goes up exponentially. So in order to promote that, we're asking that you guys um, work with Evan, um, swing by Evan's office or send him an email for how you would do that. Super easy if you have not done it already. And then you'll be entered into a drawing to win $100. So that's a cool thing, I think. Um, all about your database and your sphere. So what, what's next, Felicia? Scripts and role play, Eddie. Eddie and Tony, how's that going? 
uh, attendance is down. I would say, actually, I'm going to stand up again for this, right? <laughs> Who feels 100% comfortable with every single conversation you have to have on the phone with any kind of buyer, seller, or investor ever? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, script, you know, it's one of our five jobs, right? Rehearse, role play. What are they? Five jobs? Negotiate contracts. Don't, don't. Negotiate write, contracts. Write offers, right? Practice scripts. Go on appointments. I always forget. All right. And <laughs> by being better at scripts, really, they just turn into conversations. And the more people that come into script rehearsal and role play, we talk about different scenarios that we're all going through. It's going to help you get better, help other people get better. And then, you know, weekly, when we have enough people, we are having to, hey, you know, two people partner up, call each other, script, rehearse scripts. I've seen, it's amazing to see, like when we saw uh, Rakaya, uh, doing script rehearsal role play and justice. There's a two, uh, justice is an agent from the other office. I started with both of them at the same time. In a matter of weeks, the amount that Rakaya advanced versus justice because she rehearsed every day with Maya was amazing. And the level of confidence that she had in her voice when it comes to talking about being an agent and buying some real estate is amazing. So I think this is just something that is incredibly overlooked I mean, how many people regularly rehearse their scripts? Not many hands up, all right? <laughs> I, so, so anyway, before team meeting right now um, at 9 o'clock. 9, 9 a.m. on Tuesdays. Awesome. Y'all show up and uh, let's hone our skills. Thank you, Tony and Eddie. All right. And next we Thank have our board. vision boards. I think Woo! I just saw Denise. Hey, Denise. Hi, y'all. Come on, RJ. Denise. Oh, hi. <laughs> So the best part about teaching a class is that you have to do it. <laughs> so somebody asked, Denise says, well, why don't we do the vision board class anymore? And I'm like, Denise, would you like to do the division, the vision board class with me? So y'all come at 1130. Today. Um, today. And today. And Hopefully you got all the emails and brought your stuff because it's not going to, I mean, you can still come and learn what it is. But anyway, it's putting your goals into something that you can picture. And I realized what a visual person I am because I can tell you all my goals because I can see the vision. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, also, I do have some extra poster boards, some markers, some glue sticks, whatever, just in case you aren't prepared. Okay. Oh, good. So anyway, so 11.30 back in here. Right here. Thank you all very much. Oh, yes. oh yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. And, and Certainty is going to sponsor us with pizza. Nice. Pizza. Cool. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Excellent. All right. And we're in here at 1130. Yep. What's next? How about that? Okay, so you know who you are if you need this, right? Well, now they know. But <laughs> <laughs> you should know, but you don't know. Felicia knows everything. We have Felicia. Yeah. Just email me. Um, you do need code of ethics by December 31st. 2023? Four. Four? Charlie, you know? Three year cycle. Three year cycle. Thank you. Um, you can go to the ARA website to find your, if you need code of ethics, or you can go to the NAR website to find out if you need code of ethics. If you don't want to email me. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I will hunt you down. <laughs> okay, so we have a master class coming up at 11.30 on Tuesday the 6th, next week with Glenn Carter about how money works, financial literacy, and then what's next. All right, this is super cool. So y'all, Kit Cummings is gonna be leading us in a uh, book series called 40 Days of Prayer. This is not a religious course. It is not a religious course. It's based on principles that are likely of a religious nature, but it is designed to help you get through um, your limiting beliefs and mental barriers. So this is all about mindset and it's gonna happen for seven weeks. It starts um, uh, on December the 8th. So that's next Thursday, mm -hmm. Tony. And I'd like to say, uh, this is the last time I'm going to speak today, I promise. Uh, <laughs> when I did 75 hard, uh, I actually read 40 Days of Prayer 
every day, day one, went with day one of 75 hard for me. And that helped me stay focused and help my mindset. So I definitely actually really recommend that book uh, for, for helping you with your mindset and your yeah. limiting beliefs. And, uh, and it's going to be done over Zoom, I believe. How long is that uh, each segment last? Um, one, one, one hour. One hour. I think he starts it. Um, I'm, I think he's beginning it in person, and then, and then it goes to Zoom. Go to Zoom. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the first yeah. session's in person. Yeah. So we'll have more information about that. And next week, oh my gosh, December the 8th, Thursday at the Dunwoody Country Club is our holiday party. So it is here. All you need to know is um, most of y'all have already RSVP'd, right, Felicia? Sure. Yes. <laughs> so if you haven't, um, please RSVP. Yes. Either um, scan the QR code on the invitation or email me. Yeah. You should have gotten a hard copy invitation at your home. And uh, it starts at 6 p.m. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm excited. So, just men bring a jacket and no no kids, please. Yes, or pets. <laughs> okay. So shelter, y'all got something coming up here, Patricia, on Wednesday, December the 14th. Points and products. Yep, we'll be talking about the VA product. If you are interested in learning more about the VA loans. Are ready for you on December 14th. Very cool. VA loans. Come come learn about that. And then there are daily trainings on uh, through Scott Leroy Marketing every day at 1 p.m. regarding command and DocuSign. Yes. Holiday door decorating contest. So this is this you is really have some competition. competition. Yeah. I'm telling you. For sure. So um, Eddie's got a great um, uh, little decoration. You know, some uh, one of our fellow agents came came to my door and she looked at my door and she goes, "What, what was?" I said, "I just wanted to come down and see your door, so I knew I know what entry level looks like." <laughs> so so come see mine first and then go see Eddie's and you won't be disappointed. Pacific has a great door. Too. Pacific does have a great door. Yeah. yeah. So y'all um the thirteenth is your um the white elephant and we will vote on it that day. Yeah. On the thirteenth. Speak of which gift exchange so bring a a um I almost said gently wrapped bring a wrapped <laughs> gift. <laughs> bring a bring a wrapped i can read a wrapped gift that's around twenty dollars okay it can be 19 it can be 21 just that's your goal is it should be around to twenty dollars correct and right. we will have food and drinks, correct? Yep. So coffee. Coffee and uh, orange juice, <coughs> mimosas, and, okay. uh, maybe some Bailey's. Okay, awesome. Yes. Thank you, Certainty. There's a theme there. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 cheer. Awesome. And then our listing contest. So we have updated these numbers. Uh, this is through the 31st, y'all. These are the three, uh, um, uh, what you'll win, the prizes, or a weekend stay in Scott Morchower's cabin in LJ, um, a spa day at the at the Woodhouse Spa, and tickets to Falcons versus Tampa Bay. That's going to be a good game. It could be Tom Brady's last game. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 So let's see the, the numbers, Felicia. <clears throat> Okay, so this is everybody who's, who's put in one listing. So you've got one entry, unless you're brand new and it's your first listing, in which case you get two entries. Then who's got um, more, there more? More one entries. Two listings. Awesome. Three or more. Right on. Yeah. Woo! Party. Party. Excellent. Yeah. How about that? Okay. All right. So keep the keep the listings coming. All right. Today we're going to have a happy hour starting at two p.m. for all of y'all who'd like to join us at Tim Lizzie's right up the road um, after vision boarding um, to watch uh, 
USA uh, versus Iran in the World Cup. So come hang out with us and we'll have a few drinks and some appetizers. And that's and share the US on. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have, I believe, pipeline. So what have y'all got coming up in your pipelines? Yeah. Hey. Um, I have a rental coming up uh, in Woodfield, which is off of Eaves Road, a uh, four bedroom house. It's going to be uh, 3000 um, That is that because I have allow tax. A what? Allow tax. Yes. Okay. Um, I have a three bedroom in Lilburn. It's 1875 And then I have a the condo at uh, Elements. We've added, not only is it for sale, but you can also lease it. Uh, so it's a two bedroom, two bath, two dedicated parking spaces uh, for sale at uh, 345 or for rent at uh, 2200. Mm -hmm. Cool, awesome, who else? Yeah, so I've got a 4-3 in Decatur with an in-law suite. Uh, it's partially updated, kitchen's updated, the bathroom can use some updating. It's gonna be around five or 525 uh, coming up here next week or two. Okay, indicator. What indicator? Ponderosa. What? Yeah. So Lakeside High School. Yeah. Awesome. Who else? Yeah, yeah Eddie and then Scott. Um, if there's an agent in the Lilburn area that can help show um, the rental, uh, please let me know. It could use some help. Okay. You need a showing assistant in Lilburn. Okay. Scott. I mentioned this in the beginning, but the room wasn't full, and now it is. So. Uh, 20.87 acres zoned for townhomes, uh, medium density at the corner of Barge Road and Greenbrier Parkway, about two blocks from Greenbrier Mall and the Greenbrier Overlay District. Awesome. 20.87 awesome. acres, 93,000 an acre, 1.980, and it is a 4% to each agent split. Yeah, go find a buyer. All right. Thank you. Still got my two bedroom, two bath condo down in uh, Hampton City. In the Hanover House Tower uh, on Colony Square's uh, development. So it's a midtown and it's a great contemporary opened up chef's table, so kitchen, outdoor balcony overlooking Angelo Park. Really nice view. I've also got one coming up in the field. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Great, great, great house. It's, um, we still, we're probably a week or two away, but. That one's going to be coming probably list around 425 or 30 okay. somewhere. You talk to these two folks right in front of you. Two story. Luann and Hans. Talk to them for sure. Who else? Anybody um on chat? No. No? no? Anybody buyers, buyer needs? RJ? Um I, we do have a house coming on the market next week in Village Mill. It'll be uh under 700 as a um, unfinished basement that has an addition on the back, which is a bulky family room, which is really nice. Anyway, great village, but on a cul de sac. The village that I have. Nice, very nice. Sandra? I have a buyer um, up to 400000 Um uh, He's flexible as to place of living, could be south side, west side, north side. Wow. Um, yeah. Um, it's a veteran. We want to really help him find the home. Sure. So, you have anything three bedrooms, two bathrooms, you know, not super picky, but up to 400. Up to 400, yes. Okay, Thank cool. You. See Sandra. Yeah, Denise. I have a buyer desperately needing a house in Dunwoody area, uh, up to 550, I think, Randy, right? Um, and um, they sold their house and they thought we were going to get a house, and now they really need a house. They'd like, they will fix it up they, as long as it's livable, they'll go in and renovate themselves. Um, I also have a buyer over in the Decatur area um, who is looking for a ranch, uh, mid-century modern, done, up to 1.2. Yeah. That's a cool, that sounds like a cool house. Awesome. Who else? Buyer's needs. Anybody? Yeah, Scott. I'll put one more in there. It isn't a buyer's need. I uh, have a 1,350 square foot office space in Marietta by Sprayberry in my building. I will make a special deal to anybody that brings a Keller Williams or Keller Williams person that brings an office user in. So if you know somebody looking for an office property, first Police. floor, main floor, ADA, front door, 1,350 square feet, two offices, and a large training room. Police. Police. Okay. And Correct. Scott near Sprayberry. See Scott. 
I forgot to mention this person looking for the house in Dunleavy would also like to rent in Dunleavy if they can't find a house. So they, they, they would Let's like something that's pet friendly. <laughs> cool. Anybody else? Okay, y'all go make it a great day, and I'll see you at two for the World Cup. Oh, yeah, and sorry, on teams, oh, oh, come oh, on back down. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Right, so Did everybody so text who wanted to text? Did everybody text? Yeah. Text, I email. Text, 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 yeah. Oh. No, don't worry. Uh, I'll give you a second to text if you want to. The cards are on the table, so if you want to join in, text my number with your name and email. Uh, while you're doing that, I just wanted to share something, too, that I didn't share earlier. I mentioned that we wanted to lower out-of-pocket costs as well. And through the technology and some of the things that I mentioned, actually 90% of our claims nationally have zero out-of-pocket costs. So that's a huge benefit uh, for all of your buyers. I'm sure all of you have been a part of you know, warranty where they've had a claim that was approved, and they still had out-of-pocket costs. Part of that is by design. We wanted to eliminate that. Do our plans, we can do that, and that's why we have 90% no out-of-pocket costs for your clients. So everybody text? We're good? All right, give me a number between, let's see how many texts we got. Uh, looks like about 15. Um, eight. Eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Carlos Lopez. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so I'll take you to the Amazon gift card. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, y'all gonna make it a great day. Appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. 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 Thank you.